doing a shelf tour. This is part one of just my standalone books, and then I'm going to do a part two of my series shelf. So I hope you enjoy! So here on my first shelf is just my standalone books. So on my first shelf we have Damned by Chuck Palahniuk, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, which is a signed copy. The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. Althea and Oliver by Christina Maracho. I'm sorry in advance if I pronounce any of these authors' name wrong. It's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini. I own a lot of Ned Vizzini books, and this was one of my favorite and the first book I read by him because it depicted depression so well in my opinion. And I recommend this book to anyone struggling with depression and needing to know they're not alone in how they feel or anyone who's trying to understand someone with depression because I think it's really accurate depiction, at least for me. More Than This by Patrick Ness. Down a Dark Hall by Louise Duncan. She also wrote I Know What You Did Last Summer if you're into horror. It's a good book to read and then watching the movie to see the comparisons and how they changed it in the movie adaptation. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Also, I apologize for the shakiness of the camera. I don't have a tripod and the makeshift tripod I made wasn't really working, so I'm sorry. I also have this cute little figurine from my mom that I think goes well with the blue book, so I put it on my shelf. I have 1984 by George Orwell, which I got discarded at my school library, if you couldn't tell by the discarded stamp on the side of it. Which I, I recommend this book because I think it's a really good depiction of how bad society can get, and it's kind of scary how it kind of parallels to the way society is now. And of course I have The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. I feel like it's kind of a sci-fi fan's rite of passage to have read this book. You can tell by the condition it's in that it's been well loved. Then I have Apathy and Other Small Victories by Paul Nealon. And at the bottom of the book it ha actually has the words apathy spelled out in ASL. Then we have The Limit by Christian Landon. And I really hate how they put stickers on like the front of the book, so it kind of ruins the cover, but this was a really good book. I read it in middle school and I loved it and I recommend it to anyone who kind of like the dystopian type of novels. And I read No Passengers Beyond This Point by Jennifer Jadenko. Another discarded book I got was The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palahniuk. And I really like this book because how when you flip it upside down, you get like a different image. My other Chuck Palahniuk book, Survivor, Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. I've also read All the Bright Places by her. I hear a lot of mixed reviews about All the Bright Places. But I, for one, actually love the book. I don't own it, though, but I recommend it. It's, an it's another book about depression, and I just thought it depicted it well, in my opinion. Okay, don't hate me for the state of my book, but I read this book in middle school, and I was really got into it that I tried to read it in the shower, and I dropped it. And I know, book abuse, but it was too good to stop reading for a second. And it's The Postcard by Tony Abbott, or Abbott, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Teen Inks, Nah, by Ned Vizzini. The Other Normals by Ned Vizzini. Now we're down to the second shelf. I have this You Tried sign up, which is kind of funny because I saw a post on Tumblr that had a star with You Tried inside of it. I'm sure we've all saw the meme. So I tried to recreate it, but I don't know how to draw stars. And when I originally put it in the frame, it was the right way around. But then one time when I was cleaning, it fell off my shelf and fell out. And when I put it back in, I accidentally put it in upside down. And I th think that's kind of funny. Carrying on, I have Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Schwartz. Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Once Again by Liz Brazewell and Cameron Doki. Dirty Little Secrets by C.J. Amalalu, Distant Waves by Susan Wine, Flutter by Aaron E. Moulton, A Discarded Copy of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Walking Naked by Alyssa Brugman, 
I usually don't like books with people or faces on the cover, but I actually think this particular cover looks really nice. Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk, Deadly by Julie Chibero, Don't Look Behind You by Louise Duncan, Darker Still by Lena Reen Heber, The Dead and Buried by Kim Harrington, Picture the Dead by Adele Griffin and Liza Brown, Kissed by Cameron Doki, Then I Have the Ribbit Jack and Other Curious Yarns by Brian Jaquess, which was given to me by my literature teacher, which I'm really grateful for. I'm showing these two book spines at the same time because they both don't have covers. I bought them with covers, but then I took them off because I didn't want to damage the cover when I put it in my book bag and bring it with me and stuff. And then I end up I ended up losing them. I have no clue where I put them. The End Game by Michael Martin and Angry Management by Crutcher. The Fourth Stall by Chris Rylander. And now I have my last shelf, which is kind of like brown to yellow to green. This last shelf is so low, I'm putting them up here. So I have Ghost Girl by Tanya Hurley. Left Behind by Tim Lackey and Terry Jenkins. The Ripper by Stefan Petrusha. The Grim Legacy by Polly Shulman. Weird jump here because I accidentally deleted footage from my second shelf. So to finish up my second shelf, I have The Force Stall by Chris Reidner. A Kiss in Time and Cloaked by, A by Alex Finn. The Deep by Nick Cutter. The Circle by Dave Eggers. Hero Type by Barry Liga. You by Caroline Kepnis. And just a disclaimer, before you think I abuse all my books, I got this book used and it came with the cover wrinkled like that. I don't know how it happened. A History of a World in Six Classes by Tom Standage. A Tunnel in the Sky by Robert A. Heinlein. Poems for Red Letter Days by a Collection of Authors. Modern American Poetry by a Collection of Authors. The Giver by Lewis Lowry. Human Point Four by Mike A. Lanchester. Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul by a Collection of Authors. A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest J. Gaines. A Contemporary Rhetoric by a Collection of Authors. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. The Odyssey by Homer. In Shadows of the Blackbirds by Kate Winters, Murder Go Round by Agatha Christie, The Clockwork Three by Matthew J. Kirby, Boy Toy by Barry Liga, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. You can't tell, but this is Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk. I covered this up with a Barnes & Noble bag because I got this used and the cover was just stained and it didn't look very nice, so so I used the Barnes & Noble bag to create a makeshift cover. A Man Called Peter by Katherine Marshall. Once by Cameron Donkey. The Pearl Wars by Nick James. The Ghost of Greylock by Dan Pablocki. Gravediggers, A Mountain of Bones by Christopher Crovington. I hope that was informative and that you just got a new book on your TBR list. And thanks for watching. Bye!